Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. Um, I just got in today a new ant miner. This is the ant miner B3. That's right, the ant miner B3. It mines the Vitam coin. Uh, there's not a lot of information about mining on Vitam coin yet because it's brand new. Um, I did look at the mining calculators out there, and uh, they're pretty probably all going to be wrong. And I've heard people quote anything from ten dollars a day to four hundred dollars a day. Um, I think it's going to be more than 10, and I think it's going to be less than 400, so we'll fall in that range. Um, I'm guessing probably anywhere from 80 to 100 hours a day initially to start mining. Uh, then it'll probably plummet after that once people start receiving theirs. And they already sold a second batch, so I'll be starting to be delivered next week. So I'll have a week advantage, that's it, just a week advantage, uh, paying premium price. Now what uh, Bitmain did do is they sent out a, basically, not a coupon, but a refund. Uh, 600 some dollars they're going to refund people uh, within one to two months by Bitcoin Cash, which is very interesting. Um, I did see some people in the forums say they did get, uh, that they'll probably come in a little faster than that, that they already seen a, a credit on their account or something like this. So we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, this is the Bitum, uh, or excuse me, this is Miner B3, mine's the Bitum coin. I'm excited about it, something new. Um, I already have some S9s running in my warehouse. Um, this one I'm going to run from home. It only takes about 375 watts of electricity, uh, which is very, very low uh, considering, a, say, like an S9, something like that. So now we're going to open it and show you what it looks like. Uh, I pretty much know it's probably going to be about, look like an ant miner. It's probably a little smaller from what I've seen online. Uh, but here we go. We're going to open it for you see what, what you think. Um, I already used the knife and opened it once. Uh, you have your warranty instructions that, that comes with it, just like any other one. Um, now, what I did notice today before I met, uh, got this video, uh, started making this video, was I went on to Antpool and they already set up a uh, B, or uh, excuse me, a Bitum coin pool already, uh, which I was very happy to see because it was as of yesterday, Thursday, uh, they had set one up and you couldn't really do much with it. Today it looks like it's actually operational. So I'm in about 15 minutes when I make this video, we're going to plug it in and uh, hopefully start making some Bitums. Uh, then we'll probably watch the, the price you know, collapse and then uh, hopefully it'll build back up. I play to basically hold, uh, hodl, what do you want to say, uh, my coins, uh, especially the vitamin coins because they could go 10 times x, you know, 30x, whatever in the future. So I'll hold it and see what happens. Uh, it could go to nothing, but you know, I only spent like 2500 for this. Um, after I had a coupon, so about 2200 off the coupon. After I get my rebate back, uh, you know, you're looking at like 1600 It's not too bad for our miner. I'm hoping to return investment within a month or two. Uh, but if it takes me three months, it takes me three months. Not a big deal. Um, take a look here. It can't be doing worse than S9. I wouldn't think S9s are making about eight, nine dollars a day right now per miner before your expenses. Okay, there we go. Basically, same as S9. Uh, short. It looks a little stubbier. Uh, you know, it just looks basically like your normal ant miner S9 or any other ant miners they make. Uh, let's take it around here a little bit. This on here. So basically, uh, this is the, um, I use, I'm using the uh, Power Pack from Bitmain. It's the AW. It's APW3++. This can run pretty much all their equipment. Um, it's like a hundred some. It's like a hundred bucks. Um, I, you know, it's made for these machines. It's cheap. If you buy uh, power supply offline, they could pay a little bit more. But I'm gonna show you how to hook this up. I'm sure it hooks up similar to an S9. Uh, it just has uh, one less connector per. Uh, and one less uh, electrical connection pl uh, per board. It's got three boards, two electrical connections per board. So we're just going to hook up the ones we have. And this can run off 110. Uh, they, the uh, APW3++ can run off 110 or 220. I'm going to run mine off 220 for, uh, to give you less amps. It costs you less amps, but it save you a few bucks. 
Uh, it's only 375 or 350 watts. I believe it's like 375. Uh, so we're going to hook up the ones we have here. Okay. Now it looks like they're all hooked up correctly. Boom. Double check the connections. I think it seems fine. I'm going to take this down. I'm going to take this down to my uh, lab, which is actually just my basement, and uh, get it hooked up and see what happens. Um, now, when I bought this originally, uh, people were saying it's going to go for, you know, people at one time were quoting maybe $400 a day uh, in coins. If I can make $400 a day in coins, I'm like, wow, that'd be nice. So what people said is uh, initially people reported after I bought it, I, when I bought this, I had no expectations of it returning any certain amount of money. Um, I'm hoping to make my return investment back within two to three, four months. Uh, three months would be good. One month would be really good, but you know we can't hope for the stars. Um, but when I initially uh, was looking around online, people were saying, oh, yeah, you can make $380, $400 a day. And when they were saying things like that, I started thinking, hmm, $400 a day. But back to Rowdy, I know it's probably not going to make that. Uh, if it makes 7500 bucks a day, it'd be great uh, because then I could return an investment within a, a 30 days. Um, I think obviously the first week's going to be the best week. Uh, when starting next Friday, when people start getting theirs, or maybe Monday after that, you know, we don't have a maybe a week to 10 day jump on them. So I'm going to get this hooked up as fast as possible. Start spinning out those bitums and making me some dough. Be right back, YouTube. Here we go. We're going down to the uh, lab, otherwise known as the basement. Uh, my other miners, my S9s, are in my warehouse. This one only runs off like 350, 375 uh, watts of power. So I'm going to hook this in my basement. Uh, that way I can see what's going on. Hopefully it'll be a little less quiet than the S9. If it's really loud like the S9, I'll have to move it to the warehouse. Um, believe it or not, at one time, I had 14 S9s running in my basement. Good thing it was middle of the winter time, and I transferred that heat to my house. I didn't run any uh, heat for a little while uh, when I had the 14 S9s going, and it actually would get too hot. It would get uh, 80, 90 degrees. I'd have to open windows. I was the only one in Ohio um, opening their windows, or other maybe other miners, uh, that would open their windows in the middle of winter time to uh, vent some heat out. I had doors open, windows open. It was so uncomfortable. Uh, finally, I was able to move into my warehouse, and uh, I have them running there now. It's a lot quieter here, and they run good over there. But I'm going to hook up this uh, B3, and we'll see what it does. I uh, already logged into the ampoule upstairs. I'm going to have to, once I get this hooked up, I have to hook up the um, to the mining pool upstairs, put the information in there. But we'll hook this up real quick, show you how it works. Get never hooked up. It's similar. Don't mind my mess down here. It's a little bit of a crazy. There it is. That's the B3. Um, normally I'd have a rack to sit it on, but I put my rack upstairs for now. So we're just sitting on this chair to start. And I, you know, the more I think about it, the more I'm realizing it's probably going to have to go to my warehouse because, um, I just don't want any problems happening. And I know the warehouse is fine. So the front of the, um, B3 is where you plug in your Cat5 cable, Cat6 cable, your internet cable, Ethernet cable. Uh, luckily I have... Some hookups down here already did, so I'll pause real quick and hook that up. All right, guys, I'm gonna plug in the uh, power cord here. It's gonna probably get crazy loud. Uh, nothing happened. So, uh, oh, I know why. Hold on a second here. All right, here we're all hooked up here. Now, I'm gonna plug this in and uh, Hopefully it doesn't do what it did last time and not do nothing. Hopefully this time we'll actually make some noise. Here's turn up. So far it's a lot quieter than S9, which I you know expected. Uh, but I'm sure when it ramps up, I get just as loud. Uh, so this is the uh, B3. We're gonna te temporarily hook it up here and then hook it in my warehouse when I at the time, probably maybe tonight or tomorrow. I'm gonna get a mine tonight, see what it does. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, and I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna show you how to set it up upstairs.